Do you have a guitar rig that's just way too big? Are you tired of carrying around these types of things? 100 watt or 50 watt tube or valve heads? Do you want something much smaller without sacrificing sound or power? Well, that's where the Blue Guitar Amp One Mercury Edition supposedly comes in. I say supposedly, we'll find out after this intro. Okay, so welcome back. The Blue Guitar Amp One Mercury Edition. Small amp that could fit right onto your pedal board. 100 watts of nano tube power. So it has a nano tube in the power amp section, which is a bit different from your regular one tube kind of uh, solutions. So you have a big amp like a Marshall Plexi and you don't want to carry that around, but you still want the sound and the power of that Plexi or some other kind of valve amp. Uh, and Blue Guitar promises that the amp one would be that kind of a solution in a small pedal board format. Is there any truth to this claim? Well, we'll be the judge of that. So let's just go through the features uh, and then we'll play a bit. So first off, what does it cost? It costs uh, just under 700 euros here in Europe, which would be, I guess, roughly under $800 in the US, but I don't know what it goes for over there. Um, yeah, the features, it has a three band EQ, I have everything set halfway here, it has reverb, it has separate tone controls for the different channels, and the different channels are clean, vintage, classic and modern. The only channel that doesn't have a tone control is the vintage one, because if I've understood correctly, the guy who made this Thomas Blug, I don't know how to pronounce that, Blug, 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 <laughs> Thomas Blug? Yeah, I think that's model of his favorite Plexi or something. I think he's a big Plexi guy. I've seen him play Plexis on YouTube. But the other ones, you can set volume separately and you can set tone separately. It also has a separate volume for clean and then it has a master for the uh, overdriven sounds and a gain and a totally separate master and even a boost function. Did I mention it has reverb? It has reverb. Did I mention? <laughs> yes, did I mention it has reverb. So let's go. Uh, clean sound first. Everything set to 12 o'clock. I have a custom mahogany strat with Seymour Duncan YJM Furies. This one is going into the Marshall cab behind me. And this is what it sounds like clean, no effects. <laughs> So first off, let's try tweaking the tone of the clean channel. So I've set it all the way the other way. The, the small controls are located right here on the side. Uh, and they might be a bit annoying, but they're the type of things that you kind of set and forget once you find what you want. So this is the tone control in the opposite direction now. <laughs> So it's a lot brighter now. Let's check out the boost. Uh, you can also set the amount of boost on the side here, but I've set somewhere, I don't know where. Okay. 
Okay, so you can get a volume boost if you want to play a clean solo, for instance. You can do that just with the boost button if you don't have any uh, volume pedal in the loop to boost your signal. So it also has an effects loop, which is a cool feature. Okay, let's check out the reverb. This is the maximum amount of reverb you can get. Yeah, nice touch that you have reverb. Let's go over to the vintage channel. Okay, so I have gain on 5 EQ, still everything halfway, and the master of the overdrive section is at halfway. Um, but I have the overall master just over 3, so it's not very loud. <laughs> Okay, so uh, this seems like quite a good starting point. The, the type of sound uh, that my Plexi would have and that I would kind of push with an overdrive pedal. Uh, so I'll try that a bit later. I have a Fender Ingwer Malmsteen overdrive in front of me as well. But this sounds quite promising. Is that a bit of delay? <laughs> So let's uh, add a bit of gain. I'm halfway now, so I'll put it on full and see how much you get out of the vintage mode. <laughs> I prefer it with less gain. Uh, let's go over to the classic channel. Oh wait, before we do, let's see what the boost does here. <laughs> Okay, so that adds a bit of overdrive to it which can be a handy feature, but then again, you need a volume pedal in the loop if you want to boost your solos. Let's go over to the classic channel. So, uh, all the three of the overdriven channels share the same gain control and master volume, well, one of the masters, kind of the volume. So the settings are the same still, uh, gain halfway, volume halfway, and EQ halfway. <laughs> It's just 
just check out the difference between the vintage and the classic. <laughs> See how much gain this channel does. Okay, so dropped gain back halfway and let's see what the modern channel does. Oh wait, again, let's check out the boost in this mode. <laughs> again it adds a bit of overdrive and let's check out the modern mode okay so I fiddled with the volume a bit because it was a bit quieter and I also fiddled with the tone Okay, let's go back to the vintage channel and try it with an overdrive pedal. I've not fiddled with the EQ yet because um, I find halfway is a good starting point uh, and I can't be fiddling with the EQ on every channel because we'd be here forever. But I'll set it to roughly where I have my plexi set at. That means I've dropped the treble, added bass and middle and we'll see what it sounds like now with gain halfway again. <laughs> The way I would run my Fender Yngwie Malmsteen overdrive is everything on full. Let's just see what happens. I have a noise gate for that separately. This one also has a noise gate, It has, but it just has two functions, soft and hard. So even with it on soft, it kind of lets through everything. I didn't like the hard gate uh, on the older version of this. I think I guess basically have two softer gates, um, one to cut out the overdrive pedal and one to cut out the hiss from the uh, amp one itself. So uh, gain and volume on full on the Fender Ingve Malmsteen overdrive. <laughs> Uh, it's not 
too bad. Let's try the classic channel and see what it sounds like with the exact same settings. Okay, so it doesn't sound like it's coping entirely well with the overdrive on this channel. There was something a bit funny on the other channel as well. I'll drop volume a bit uh, halfway and see if that solves the problem. <laughs> Other channel, vintage one. <laughs> Well, um, it sure has some promise and it doesn't have the problem that the old amp one had which was a very flabby, not at all tight bottom end. <laughs> Does it sound like my Plexi? No. Would I be happy to gig with this if I had to fly somewhere? Yes. Uh, I think I would actually. But it's not half bad. Uh, take a bit, bit of tweaking, find kind of still drop maybe a bit from the Ingvar Malmsteen Overdrive. Uh, it could be a very good, at least a very good backup thing to have. So if you don't want to carry around a bunch of these marshals, for instance, you could have one marshal and one of these just to save space. Uh, you could have this if you have to fly somewhere. Uh, I know you have different products that you could use instead of this. Uh, you could do the fly rig, but this beats the fly rig, no question. Uh, then again, it's a lot more expensive. It doesn't sound entirely convincing, so would I record with it? Absolutely not. I would use the Marshall. Uh, is there something better out there? Well, personally, I actually prefer the old Axe FX2. Um, it's bigger than this, so it's more difficult to transport. If you have to fly somewhere, that might be an issue. Uh, so, uh, I'm not 100% convinced. If I'd have to give a number from 1 to 10, give it an 8 which is fairly decent uh, seven and a half to eight somewhere between um, it's quite good could be better but then again it's not a proper valve amp they say that nano tubes are the future of valve amps or tube amps I don't know it has a like I said it has a nano tube in the power section so that's basically all I have for you today. Now if you want to watch the review I did of the old AMP1, you should find a card here somewhere. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, description. If you want to watch more of my gear reviews, there should be an end screen somewhere around here, around right about now. Click like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell notification and support me on Patreon. I buy the gear that I review so you get an honest review. Goodbye.